Hey you, I am here trying to come up with like a uh, sort of like a design formula. Um, uh, just something like like that's inexpensive beads that are easily accessible to everybody, hopefully, um, in some way. Uh, like these, uh, the this kind of bone looking sorry bone looking uh, hishi bead um, it's got it's like a geometric shape it's one two three six sides um, and these are the same uh, so like you see like it has like six sides these these I got from an Amazon order. I had the unboxing on this channel. Um, these are from a Happy Mango order. Um, they're glass. These are a really inexpensive, just uh, like a really porous clay. I don't know what kind of clay it is. It's, it's not a good clay, but it's not a horrible clay. It's just really inexpensive stuff. Okay, so I'm going to... Like, everybody has hishi beads, it seems like. That's, like, the deal. And, um, so... And people have been getting African beads. And so I was trying to come up with some ideas. Um, I, I ran out of the beads for this more... Um... Kind of like a bead soup with sort of a pattern that sometimes gets messed up, sometimes doesn't. It has some, some random items that float around like some of these they end up at the bottom because they're just big rings all over so um so let's look at like how to do something it's like trying to adjust it there we go um it kind of reminds me of a snake like a coral snake even it's you know not the right colors of course but uh it, yeah it kind of reminds me of a snake and i like that really kind of um, earthy feel it gives, and, um, I was doing these in school colors, uh, making bracelets for my job. I work at a school, and we have school colors, and I need to make jewelry to give away for holiday gifts. Okay, so, I was putting these together, because I was, I was liking this yellow, black, and white, um, hishi bead pattern here and I was thinking of doing it in more like muted tones or something um are these the brown ones I think yeah these are the brown so this would be like a really earthy bracelet this would be like maybe for somebody that uh I don't know just just like the earthy colors more you know just some people are like into that so, I mean, this isn't how they're laid out on, of course, no, that's not how they're laid out, but I like to just see what they're like, if I can just kind of get a guesstimate of a pattern, Ooh, they pop out there, so, um, I don't know, I mean, these are really simple. I mean, it's not like really exciting, but it's kind of like just like a formula. So these are just like earthy tones. Um, this creamy bone color um, plays well with the yellow dots on this bead. What is that on my hand? Oh, okay. There's all kind of stuff flaking off on my hand. All right. So where's the memory wire? <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, I, think, I think I found it. All right, here we go. This is some oval memory wire, so that's why it looks weird. Um, using memory memory wire, you always want to use memory <laughs> memory. I'm sorry, I uh, speech thing. A memory pliers. Uh, this is stainless steel that's like super hardened steel, and you need this plier to cut it. Don't try to use a regular 
snip <laughs> memory wire. Okay. So my wrists are kind of average. Um, they're like six and a half, maybe. And maybe they're a little smaller than average. Um, and so what I did with this is I made it basically either uh, it's going to be like a two strand on your wrist or you can wear it on top and it'll be like a three strand so it's kind of like you can migrate around because that's what bracelets do during the day so I'll just leave that there okay so let's see where is the end I feel really out of practice uh, not having done a video in like so long I mean, I've, I've done some videos, but they just aren't, they weren't worth putting up on a YouTube channel. Oh, man. This is the, this is the, <laughs> one of the annoying things about, <laughs> like, I can say memory wire all day long if I'm not recording. <laughs> oh, brains are funny. Okay, let's see. Come on, get out of there, little wire. I'm going to set you free. Come on, where'd you go? I just had you, there you are. There you go. Okay, so. All right, I'm going to. Oh man, I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> just... I don't use uh, the caps that you can glue on to the ends of memory wire. I, I just do the curl. I'm really tempted to put one of these check bead snake heads like on the end. What do you think? What do you, like, oh my gosh, what? And like the little curl, yeah, and like the little curl right there could come out of the snake mouth and it could be like its tongue, but I don't know, they seem like they might be too long. <clears throat> I don't know what do you guys think this is my problem like I take a simple design and I'm like oh um, can I add something more to it <laughs> can I make this design complicated now these are really pretty I mean the black is gorgeous but that goldy coppery rose gold copper washes what do you guys think? What do you what if that what if that was like what if, I don't see how like it's really long and this is curved so much. I don't know if it'll work on the memory wire that well. That's kind of the tricky thing. Um see how it's curved and this is just so straight. It's gonna it's gonna resist going even though I guess maybe this side this is since this is oval maybe it'll work out better let's see oh it's getting some resistance already shoot I don't know I'm afraid if I get it in there I may not get it out not like it matters uh okay there it's coming out I don't know that's gonna like hang off that's going to hang off the... How do I get this to focus? Wow, oh my goodness. So much trouble to focus. Because like, do you see how, I mean, that's just going to hang off and like catch on stuff, right? Like, can I bend it down? I, uh, I don't know. That's the thing with memory wire, it's a little tricky with the shape and length of your beads. If they're not curved to go with your memory wire, um, tough luck, I guess. <laughs> oh, shoot. Guys, what do you think? I don't know. I think I'm done. I'm going to ditch the idea for now. Okay.
like I was saying, I don't, um, where is it? this side right here? I don't, I uh, do end caps. I do a roll. So I grab it and you're going to grab it really firm and roll. Get another purchase on it. Roll again. Oh, it's a really big loop. I want a smaller loop. So I'm going to grab it where it's a little more. Can you see that? How big that loop is. So I'm going to grab it closer to the end where the mandrel is smaller. And I'm going to so hard. <laughs> uh. ah, there we go. There we go. We got a smaller loop. And now we can just make sure it's straight. It's not poking out. Okay. How do we want to, how do we want to start the story of this bracelet? Um, on this one, I started with a check bead and just the simple pattern and you know, that's the same on the other side. Um, so we're doing brown here. Uh, what kind of, what kind of end bead would, would you like to see? Hmm. You kind of want something a little, do you think actual, yep, no, I don't know. I don't know. I think that might make this look too dull. Um, shoot, I need a little, a little bead, a little tiny bead. Where did my bag of beads go? Oh, yeah. Oh no, I'm losing territory on my desk. Uh, let's See. Is this like some turquoise or magnesite or something? What if we did like turquoise at the end? Because turquoise is just beautiful. My bag of random junk. I have tons of bags of random beads, like just, I don't know, bead junk soups that inspire me, like, for some reason. <laughs> Um, shoot, I don't know, I really, I'm really second guessing my decision here. I'm wondering if I should, oops, I'm wondering if this should be used instead. Oh, what about a, more of a pattern of that? That. What do you guys think about white beads? I don't, I have like this fear of white beads. I have a fear of a lot of like white stuff because like I'm just like, it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna end up messed up. Like these bracelets I've been wearing, um, these natural wood beads, they were like white wood. I got them from Dakota Stones, but like I've been testing out like the strength of these bracelets uh, for like six months. I've been wearing them. And, um, but the other, when these were brand new, they were practically white, but like wearing them all the time. You see, it changes. Okay. All right. Let's just move forward. Um, I'm just, ah, this white is tripping me up, guys. Um, let's see. Oh, I got cats. <laughs> Oh man, I have cats here are all like trying to 
check out what I'm doing, but like they're being really cautious. It's so cute. Oh man, let's see. These are some um, gooseberry beads. What was my idea? <laughs> I've already forgotten what my idea was. Oh boy. I don't know what I was going to do with these. Why did I just grab these? <laughs> oh my gosh, edit that out, Rebecca. You're losing your mind. Holy moly. Okay, let's just get going. Um, stop looking at those beads down there, Rebecca. Stop looking at them. Okay, let's get going. Okay. Um, I, no, I don't want it. That's too big. Uh, no, wait, maybe it's right. Let's see what size. Yeah, okay, I like that. Um, so on this one, did the pattern. Excuse the sound of the beads. Okay. So we have our palette here. Um let's get let's get going with this, okay? Alright, let's move it, move it. Move it, move it, people. Alright, so what do we want to do? We wanna do white. Black, yellow, cream, bead. And then we want to do, okay, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Then we want to do bead that's creamy, the more yellow bead, the black bead, the white bead, and back again to the black. Back again to the yellow, back again to the cream, and then another bead. And so we do that repetition until we get something similar to this. So let's get moving, people. <laughs> uh, I really say let's get moving, people, and it's really Rebecca that needs to get moving. Okay, so we're yeah. I, I like to do it this way. I like to hold then this part of my hand and then bend it down and like use it like a needle and pop it on there. And if you feed it down and let it hang down there and keep the beads out of your way, let them come down. You'll have a little less frustration. Okay. Oh, I kind of like that. What do you think, guys? It's really earthy. Um, you can see you can see where these are just a little too straight, and you can see that. I don't know. Should I put? I don't know if seed beads. I could fill it with seed beads, but man, it's like a whole other extra step. Uh, what do you guys think uh, about filling it with seed beads? We're, I had a big thing of seed beads around here. Oh, there it is. I bought like a, a D stash. Gosh, I'm just sitting here talking to the camera. I know I'm talking to people eventually, but it's like, I feel a little nutty. Like, I got like all these like... Oh, jeez. Oh, I got all these beads I forget about. Okay. Let's, um... Let's get these laid down back on the mat the way we want them. There we go. Alright, so let's... I'm going to test these seed beads. Oh, I just made a mess. <laughs> Oh, these are tiny. Are these 15s? Oh, shoot. These may be too tiny. Gosh darn it. Ah, oh, the trouble with memory wire. Oh, no, it fits. Oh, my gosh, guys. 
these little 15s fit on this memory wire. Okay, guys, these are like smaller than your average 11 aughts or 10 aughts. Check beads are often in 10 aught size. Aught is zero. It's like when they say the aughts, they mean the 2000s. Okay, all right. make any difference in the design. Does this improve anything? Um, oh no, it's falling. These little tiny beads are falling even through those holes. So these beads, oh my gosh, I just took a... Okay, that's not gonna work. That's just too many, that's too many seed beads to have to deal with. That's not the goal of this project at all. So let's rewind and get rid of these guys. Where's my scoop? Oh, okay, I'm back. I got it. Uh, oh man, I'm in love with this. Like, I hate saying that I'm in love with something that I make because I feel like egotistical or something. I don't know why I'm always afraid of that type of stuff. It just should be me. But I mean, I'm loving these guys. Like, these are bringing me so much joy. They, um, like, nature loves symmetry. Um, yeah. However, so I'm, I'm down here at the end. So I need to make a decision. So this is... I think, I think, like, because I, I don't have quite enough room here to do what I did here with these four beads, these four Hishi beads in this round magnesite or turquoise bead, whatever. I don't think it's real turquoise. I think it's just a turquoise dyed bead. Okay, well, let's, let's just take this off. So we're going to have some of these guys left over. These guys here, uh, man, five. We could probably use these like on some other project. Yeah, man, you always have like a little few beads left over, and it's like, ah, oh, what do we do with those? I'm gonna do a video on that. Okay, so here we have the ending. Uh, I just need to add this blue bead here get on here and like so you kind of you don't want it too loose the beads on here are too loose but you don't want the beads tight because they'll like crunch and crack from the pressure against each other all right so let's see if I can zoom down a little bit all right <laughs> I grabbed a crimping plug I got crimping pliers. Uh, my brain is somewhere else. Okay. So, uh, I rolled this one up, up and top over. You can, you do it, do whatever you want. You can even do the things that you glue on there. So I'm going to use my memory wire cutters. Always use these to cut memory wire. This, this special tool. I'm going to cut off the end I might actually cut a little shorter. Oh, I don't know. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I messed up my mat here. Okay. So there's that notch there. I see it. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm not wearing glasses. I should be wearing safety glasses. This, when I cut this, it's going to go flying off. It's just going to go pshh. So I'm holding it down here. And I don't know where it went. <laughs> it flew off anyways. Um, I don't like that because it's really tough metal. And if you get it in the carpet or animals get it, like, they end up chewing on it and or getting it in your foot. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Okay. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers. These are uh, just... I think these made in, these are made in Pakistan. I got these at the local bead store many years ago. Um, 
grab that flush. You see that in there? And I'm gonna roll it back. Scratch that bead. Shoot. So this takes some hand strength. If you have like arthritis in your hands, um, you might want to get the glue on caps. Like if your arthritis isn't, you know, so terrible that you can still bead. Um, I know people have to give up beading sometimes, and that just makes me so sad. It just breaks my heart. Anyways, okay. So here's here's like a here's the formula. <laughs> my husband's on the couch. He passed out eating <laughs> cashew nuts. <laughs> and he's like oh, anyways. Look at these guys. What do you think? <clears throat> so I'm here working with another color palette. Uh, these are some uh, trade beads that I've had for a long time. Um, let's see, I, I probably had these for like 15 years and they've just been sitting in a thing. So uh, I think this might be our next pattern. Um, what do you think? It's really earthy. Again, there's the, I think I'm thinking going for an earthy vibe. Okay, I'll be back. Here I have the beads lined out in the pattern I want. I'm using a four millimeter check bead at the end, trade beads. So we're gonna get this going. Be right back. Okay, so I've gotten down to the end of this very earthy, uh, I took basically some like trade beads I've had for a long time. I got at a trading post here in Montana. Um, these cost me like $21 a strand back then. Um, they're sand cast, so I don't know. I think I probably paid too much for some sand cast beads <laughs> that weren't actually trade beads. Um, Alright, so we just got a, a little bit long of a tail here. And again, you want to use your memory wire cutters. And you want to make sure you... Oh hey, there's the garage going again. All right, so when you cut it, I'm, I don't have glasses on, so I'm pointing it down into my mat to where it sticks, and I can easily find it and throw it away. Because I don't, I don't want my cats to get a hold of it, and I don't want to step on it or anybody else to step on it. All right, so we're gonna roll this, get it flush, flush in there. And then roll back. I don't want it too tight. I don't want to crunch the beads on here because you can crunch your beads on memory wire if you get it too tight. Especially glass beads. And these are mostly glass beads. Well, there's clay and polymer. Clay, polymer, and glass. These are what's in the beads. Okay. So that's my other formula. What do you guys think? Um, these are my my Formula One bracelets. <laughs> my Formula One wind bracelets. Okay. So the formula is Hishi beads, uh, sandcast beads, um, and a little something peppy for the ends, just for fun. Um, I think you can get the supplies for this. It's really easy. Uh, like these beads, I got these on Amazon. I did an unboxing. These are beautiful. They have the wonderful mustard little lines on them. So here's the bracelet. I love green. I think that's why I have so many green beads. <laughs> I really don't have a favorite color though. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this formula? Do you think this is easy to follow? 
to like uh, make bracelets. Okay, that's my stuff. That's my that's my thing. I'm gonna be making more of these for people at work uh, as gifts. Uh, I'm gonna try to come up with some other stuff because I need to make some cat earrings and some veggie and fruit necklaces or something. I got all these gifts I gotta make and it's like, ah. Okay guys, running out of time. Love you all. Psh, psh. Have a good day. Oh, join my Facebook group. Look down below. There's, it. I need to get, a, attend to it more, but uh, like again, I can't ever end a video. <laughs> join my Facebook group. Uh, I got some things that I'm trying to get cooking. Now that I'm feeling a little bit physically better, I'm gonna start mailing some things out, people. I'm gonna start asking for addresses. Da -da 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 -da. All right, I hope you like these designs. Have a wonderful day. I love you a lot. Bye-bye.